Meghan and Harry mocked over new Netflix shows after latest US FOP. Even though their two new TV series aren't yet available, some people are already criticizing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Four years after they inked a deal with Netflix, it was revealed this week that the Sussexes will be creating two new projects for the streaming service. One of the episodes will be centered around cuisine and lifestyle, while the other will introduce viewers to the world of competitive polo. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. GB News commentators Emma Webb and Amy Nicole Turner discussed the couple's new endeavors, with Ms. Webb asserting that they are bleeding from a stone. Harry has played polo ever since he was a working member of the royal family, and Meghan frequently shared her passion of cooking and posted recipes on her now-defunct blog The Tig. The Duke and Duchess are no longer receiving as much attention as they once did, according to Australian analyst Daniela Elza, who noted as much in a post on news.com.au, the Sussexes now exist on another stratum altogether and are looking increasingly inconsequential. This week the political and business news site Axios reported the couple's actual foundation is part of a bipartisan coalition with support from Hollywood power players that is working to prepare U.S. voters for a possible deepfake onslaught as the campaign year goes into high gear. If the Duke and Duchess' participation in this campaign had happened back in their early U.S. days, this Axios piece would have been spawned reporting across the internet and I'd bet good money that someone back in the UK would have been quick to dredge up some royal source or insider to offer some clipped, vaguely snippy critique. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have made a startling proposal to King Charles, they want to become the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood. They anticipate making millions of dollars from the transition, even in the improbable event that nothing of note happens, Netflix might be willing to shell out enormous sums of money to create a 27-part documentary series on the name change. It will probably be revealed in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, who would look understandably shocked to learn the information. The title of Duke and Duchess of Sussex appears to have confused American celebrities who have reached out to Harry and Meghan for friendship, with many asking them, what is a Sussex? And lastly, is Sussex near Australia? Royal analyst Benny Bond said, experts have estimated that Harry and Meghan's potential net worth as the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood could reach the tens of millions. It is quite tempting to have a boatload of extra money for doing nothing because they have been telling friends that they need a new sofa. Being the Duke and Duchess of Hollywood would also impress a lot of the greatest names in Hollywood. It will be a pleasure for Tom Cruise to spend time with them. Tom Hanks will be itching to get involved in the action as well. Harry has also been threatening to leave the country and go back to the UK if they can't hang out with celebs other than James Corden. Meghan reportedly believes that as the Duchess of Hollywood, she will be required to submit a nomination for an Oscar to the Archual website for her next film. According to Hollywood gossip journalist Chad Chadson, this will instantly make Meghan the most famous woman in Hollywood, she's already been in negotiations to star in Fast and Furious 523, or whatever number they're up to. But if this happens they'll be telling Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling to do one so Meghan can be Barbie and Ken in the sequel. It's well known that Buckingham Palace is worried about potential unrest in Sussex as a result of the decision. Since it's one of the few places King Charles doesn't own a huge mansion, they haven't completely ruled out accepting the transfer. A source close to Buckingham Palace claims that Prince Andrew has been made aware of the announcement, and has made inquiries on becoming the Duke of Sussex. Given how much he loves the Pizza Express there, it would make perfect sense.